Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today I'm going to go over all the traders and uh, all the new items that are uh, introduced into the game, starting from anything that are at lower levels all the way up to max level. So let's crack straight into it. So first up we've got Propor. The notable uh, addition to the game is with Propor 2, where you'll get the uh, smoke grenade and also the stun grenade. The stun grenade actually works quite well. Uh, if you get it close to the person, they'll be pretty much out of action for a, a good five to 10 seconds, and then they'll have a blur left in their eyes. The smoke grenades do plume quite uh, well after a while, and they're kind of realistic in the way that it doesn't actually just instantly fill up an area. Uh, and I, I do believe that they actually work quite well. One issue I noticed with uh, the smoke grenades, however, is if you throw them into a room, the actual smoke will uh, push out through the walls. So it's not realistic in that respect because it's not confined to the room and extra pluming in the room. However, it does uh, it does really make it difficult to see within a room or a corridor. That's pretty much it for Propor. However, I have noticed that the uh, Keter and Klin is now purchasable at Propor level 4. However, in previous patches, it was actually at a lower level. So moving on to the next trader. As you can see, for Therapist, there are no new items introduced for patch point 9. So now moving over to Skier. With Skier, uh, the most noticeable additions are the Holocin uh, Reflex Light from Skier 2, as well as there's the uh, new Zenit PT-1 cl Classic stock. Moving on to Skier 3, there's the Fab Defense UAS for the AK, uh, being a new stock. However, with Skier 4, there are no real uh, new items added to the game. So next we have Peacekeeper. With Peacekeeper, uh, from Peacekeeper 4, everyone's always excited about new guns, and there you have it, the SA-58. I've got plenty of footage of the SA-58, and, um, and, and I'm planning to put out some more highlight videos using it. I do already have a video up of me using the SA-58, but as I noticed, and a lot of other people did, uh, I was getting a lot of follow alerts, and therefore, it's probably not the best video to watch. It's got some good uh, highlights in it. You may just want to mute it uh, as it can get quite annoying with the uh, beep butt butter bops. But in saying that, uh, it's definitely an awesome gun. Uh, it's fully automatic, but the spray, unless you're at pretty much point blank, the full, full auto doesn't really work to great effect. Even when prone at range, it's not very good. So it's definitely a single fire at, at range. Great for close uh, combat at full auto. Moving through dorms or... Uh, some sort of like factory at close ranges, beautiful. So just quickly, some other things to note with Peacekeeper. Uh, you do unlock the M62 ammo uh, with Peacekeeper 2 eventually as well, and you'll get the uh, Fell magazines from Peacekeeper 2. From Peacekeeper 3, you'll buy uh, the M80 ammo, and then once you've completed Wet Job Part 6, being uh, the snipers uh, to level 7, you will unlock M61 ammunition. So next we have Mechanic. The first noticeable thing you'll see with Mechanic is from uh, Mechanic 2, you'll get this, the Black Stock SKS. Uh, I found this very useful to use uh, early on. I would get this, put a Holos inside on top of it, it's got a laser with it, uh, chuck a quick foregrip on and it's good to go. You don't have to really put too much effort into it and it's very effective at dropping armored people. So this was my go-to gun for using after I got to level 2 Mechanic and I used this uh, SKS for quite a while. At Mechanic 3, you've got the uh, Glock 18C. Uh, you can put the extended mags from Mechanic 3 and 4, being the 33 round magazine and also the 50 round magazine from Mechanic 4. However, you can't do any other modifications besides the uh, handguard uh, on that. But it's it's great fun, extremely fast firing rate, good uh, good to play around with, particularly on close quarter maps like Factory. So moving on to Mechanic 4, uh, there's some new scopes and other attachments in the game, which are a good fun to good fun to play with. However, uh, most of these attachments are useful in completing the gunsmith task in, in the future. So once you unlock Mechanic 4, you'll also have Ragman 4. So let's move over to Ragman. Now with Ragman 2, you will unlock the Commando Chest Harness. This harness is an 8x2 uh, socket harness, and it's quite useful uh, early game. As well as that from uh, Ragman 2, you'll also be able to get access to backpacks finally, and this will help with uh, your leveling. So next we've got Ragman 3. From here you'll be able to buy Schmarg for your, uh, your your missions as well. Gazelles won't be available until you finish handing over the uh, Goshen Key at level 40. Uh, the active headset is the exact same as the Sword and Headset, except for it's about 6,000 6, rubles cheaper. And uh, you'll be able to unlock these armors, which one covers arms, one covers groins. I just went with the arm one when I was leveling. Uh, it's a... T level 5 armor so it's one below a fort however very effective also has 68 durability on the uh the arm one compared to the uh, 62 from the groin 
Lastly, we have Ragman 4. With Ragman 4, you will finally get to unlock the uh, Ronin Ballistic Helmet. It is an Armor Class 2 helmet and does, does cost 363,000 rubles, and it's got 10 available. So I don't anticipate these selling out too quickly, uh, but you never know. Some people might want to hoard them, but they're very expensive, and they're not really that good. Uh, Anton did test it quickly when I gave him one, and you can shoot underneath the jaw. So if someone tilts their head up and you shoot them in the throat, they'll they'll die in one hit anyway. So that's something to take note of. Uh, as well as that, there's the new items being added to the game. Moving on, we've got the uh, light shattered uh, mask. This one does have an armor class of one, so if you want to do a bit of a meme run, that'd be good fun. However, the de deadly skull mask, uh, named after deadly slob, of course. Uh, has zero armor class and uh, doesn't actually have any sort of protection. Moving down with the Fort and the M2s uh, have not changed at all, but there is a new backpack called the Beta 2. It is 5,000 rubles more expensive than the uh, Raid backpack. However, it is the same size as a Tri-Zip. So it's also 20,000 rubles more expensive than a Tri-Zip. So I don't actually understand why it's more expensive. It has less spots than a Attack 2, but uh, it's... It's there, so I maybe this just needs adjustment. I'm not really sure, but it's interesting to see that. So here is the Beta 2 and the Trizit next to uh, each other. They are the exact same size in both ways, uh, so I don't understand exactly. Besides the cosmetics being green and uh, fitting to the back probably a little bit more snug, that's the only difference there. Next, we have the 511 Tac Tech Plate Carrier. Uh, this does have an armor class of four. Whereas the uh, M2 rig has an armor class of three. Uh, as you can see, the movement speed and that is better also on the uh, Tac Tech plate carrier, and it is purchasable by cash instead of dog tags. So it's 133,000 rubles compared to 20, sorry, 15 level 20 dog tags. I think it even works out cheaper. It's, I think that's about 250,000 uh, rubles worth of dog tags. I don't really understand the the math behind it. Uh, so, in my opinion, this needs some adjustments. I will show you what it actually looks inside the actual rig, uh, so you can actually see the uh, space inside. So I'll show you inside the Tac Tech plate carrier, which is uh, quite quite roomy, if you are, ask me. And then lastly, you have the uh, Gen 4 armor, which is uh, full protection, 80 durability. It's an armor class 5 compared to your Ford armor being an armor class 6, um, but it covers the exact same armored zones. I'll probably just be uh, using the IOTV Gen 4 armor uh, until once Anton, Anton does some testing and I can find out the true stats behind uh, the way that it stops bullets. But from what I can see is up until now, most people were putting a lot of rounds into me before they can drop me if they're shooting me in the chest. I understand there's still not a lot of people carrying uh, armor penetrating bullets, but in saying that, it's probably going to be a while. So for now, this is better in my opinion, and I don't need to farm gold chains to use it. I can just use cash. So guys, I hope you found this uh, video useful uh, and hopefully you can get excited over some of the new items that you'll unlock as you level up. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I stream on Twitch uh, six days a week. So feel free to check me out below. Give me a follow on Twitch. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this gear, I'm more than happy to help you out. And lastly, I'll see you next time.